What did you do? What kind of interdimensional time traveling toilet is this? I only just met her. Oh, I am not ready for marriage. That is such a cool effect, though. I really like that. Cheryl, can you get off your phone? God damn it. It's bad enough we had to squeeze you in that tube top. You look like a sausage in a sock. What's up, guys? Welcome to Family Man. So some of you guys might remember that last year, I played a really early development version of this game. Like, early, early access. It hadn't even been released to the public yet. And I gotta say, it genuinely shocked me with how good it was. So I was really excited to see that the full release is coming in a couple of weeks. And then leading up to that, they've released a prologue. So we should find out what happens before the stuff that I've already played. Which means if you guys end up enjoying the video, you should be able to watch the rest of the series, because everything should be in chronological order from here on out. You just couldn't help yourself, eh, bud? Another bar, another brawl. Bobby, this wasn't my fault. It's never your fault. Funny that. Just get out of this in one piece, would you? Get out of what? We're talking in an alleyway. That face is the only thing you got left going for you. I thank you, I think. I'll do my best. Still not seeing any hmm. bar brawl. You must be the bar brawl. Hey, loser! I'm guessing that's me? You calling Bobby a loser? I mean, he's a little bit of a loser. I'm gonna enjoy beating some manners into you. I, I, I don't think that's how manners work. <laughs> Shut up and fight. Oh, oh, okay. Well, well, isn't this just great? I, I order a Shirley Temple, it takes half an hour to get to me. Your you face orders a ticket to Pound Town and it arrives right away. <gasps> what was that about blocking? There was a, a pop-up that said something about blocking. I, I was too busy turning this guy's lips into hamburger meat. Now, Bobby, some people might call you a witness, others an accessory. I call you friend, so you're gonna keep those lips nice and tight, unless you want them to be hamburger meat as well. Nicely done. Thank you. Everything feel all right? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I mean, my knuckles are a little itchy and kind of sticky. Great. Can we get back to drinking now? That's the best idea you've had all night. Uh, he's still breathing. Yeah, yeah, he, he's going to be perfectly all right. The same can't be said about my drink order. Uh, excuse me, Gordon Shirley Temple. It, it's not my name, it's my order. Get it through your head, dipshit. While we wait for Gordon to figure out the simplest part of his job, how about we schmooze with the locals? Hello? Ma'am. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I'm, I'm seriously trying to talk your ear off, not box it off, I swear. How do, oh, talk. I'm kind of busy at the moment. Busy? What? Conversing with a pirate basketball player? <laughs> How do you shoot hoops with one eye? Your depth perception must be in the can. Okay, then. I guess I'm just gonna get ignored. Maybe the beer will help? Thanks, Gordon. Appreciate it as always. Where were we anyway? Oh, yeah! You were boring the ears off some poor soul. Yeah, we talked a little bit. I'm kinda into them. I was actually punching the ears off someone. <laughs> you two talk some more. You go on a few dates, a hundred years down the line, you're changing each other's diapers. That's how it goes, huh? <laughs> sure is, tailed as old as time. Now get over there. Inspirational as always, Bob. Oh. Oh, I actually do need to pick a life partner. Can I pick anyone? <laughs> Even Gordon? You could be making the wrong drink for the rest of our lives. So this is how the protagonist met his wife, or husband. I might be able to pick the pirate basketball player. I do have a certain affection for nurses, though. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to your forehead. Hi there! I'm just talking to her like this. I'm not nervous at all, I swear. So, how's it going down there? You know, we've been talking all night. But I bet you don't even remember my name. Uh, sure I do. Oh, yeah? Oh, crap. Uh... <gasps> what is your name gonna be? 
We need something that really represents the character. She's the love of my life. She's going to give me beautiful children. She's got a massive pair of tits. I mean, look at the cleavage. I'm going to call her Titzilla. <laughs> Please tell me this works. Oh, yeah? So you do know. I'm actually kind of impressed. Titzilla is something that a lot of people easily forget. How could I forget? So, where are you from? Oh, everywhere and nowhere, you know. Not really, no. How about we get another drink? Yeah, a little something to stiffen up my neck. <laughs> Definitely, just one second, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, don't be too long, I might be lonely. Yeah, I can't imagine the conversation is <laughs> too riveting. Bobby, Bobby, I think it worked, Bobby. Bobby, I'm fine, see if I care. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, nervous poops, don't mind me. It's not every day that you talk to a blonde woman called Titzilla. There we go. I should really put my drink down somewhere. Can I just... Nope, all I know is punching. All I know is anger. Just gonna quickly take a pee. Okay, everything is fine. Uh, what? You're late. I'm getting there, Bob. If you don't get your ass in gear, there ain't gonna be a wedding. Inspirational as always. Uh... What did you do? What kind of interdimensional time-traveling toilet is this? I only just met her! Oh, I am not ready for marriage. That is such a cool effect, though. I really like that. Cheryl, can you get off your phone? God damn it. It's bad enough we had to squeeze you in that tube top. You look like a sausage in a sock. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Ooh, aren't you looking very angular? Damn, you're a sharp looking lady. Uh, how do I look? Oh, uh, like the love of my life. You're late. I'm sorry, the toilet got me here as soon as it could. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry. What happened? It's a good question. One minute I was punching a guy in a parking lot and the next uh, I've got the pastor staring at your tits. Uh, oh, the, the vows, the, the vows. Don't tell me I left them in the bar 20 years ago. I, I left them in the lobby. You know what? Just go. Remember though, leaving me at the altar would be extremely cliche. Yeah, so would pass He's staring right at them. Like, just clear line of sight. Excuse me, could you maybe not? He's a level three priest. Probably shouldn't screw with him. Right, Tetzilla's only a level one. Are you really gonna keep that for the rest of the game? Oh, damn it. Oh yeah, they called you wedding guest. That's probably for the best. All right, uh, vows, vows. I'm, I'm on it. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Maybe. If I walk through this door, is this gonna be another time skip? We good? She's still waiting, everything is fine. Fun fact. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No. You're not my wife. Uh, what's happening here? Good morning. Your little bundle of joy is in the crib. Take a look. Are you kidding me right now? I only met her like five minutes ago, and she's waiting out there to get me. She is waiting out there, right? That that's still, still. Yeah, she's still there. So our little bastard over here—that's the technical term—is non-existent. Uh, lady, have you been huffing the medical oxygen again, or what? There's no baby. Oh no, there, there is. There's a little baby over there. He's probably very square as well. Let's just admire him, I suppose. You must be so excited. Oh yeah, I'm thrilled. It's it's a boy. <laughs> they sure are. Could you fill in the paperwork about the name, please? Yeah. Your partner's through the door at the end of the corridor. Okay, well, you know what? I did say that I have a certain affection for nurses. You're a bit of a titzilla yourself. Did you, uh, you want to get out of here? Technically, I'm not married, and it's not that much of a committed relationship if you've only spoken twice. Pretty sure I punched her in the head more than we've spoken. <gasps> Paperwork. All right, then. We could use a name. Okay, well, what should we name our child? That's a tough one. 
again, we really need something that's going to encompass the character. This is the light of my life. This is my child. I love him deeply. I will only refer to him as boy. <laughs> Perfect. That is going to work. We're good. Yeah, I can name my child whatever I want. Don't question me. You just keep watching him for the next, I don't know, eight, nine years, maybe. I think that's where we're going to pick up next. <laughs> I can only imagine she's... Oh, she's waiting at the end of the hall. It's just not quite what I had expected. That's a real ugly sweater. Oh, it's Christmas. It's fine. The season of ugly sweaters. I don't want to fight about it anymore. Uh, me neither. Yeah, that redheaded nurse meant nothing to me. We're just going to completely ignore that. We'll find the money. I just... Enough. What money? We're here now. Let's just enjoy the party. Not seen them in ages. You're right, tis the season. Ugly, unflattering sweaters. Come on. You need Titzilla for a reason. You're sheer as a wall. It's really interesting that they're starting to hint at money problems because that's at the core of the game, right? So I'm looking forward to seeing exactly where this is going. Hey, Bob, did that guy ever survive in the parking lot? Um, excuse me, festive guest one and two. Can I... And I maybe, no? Wow, I got a pretty ugly sweater myself. <gasps> Guess I'll just go around you guys, not like it's my house. Is this my house, Bobby? Mm. You tell me. I'm gonna stare at your forehead again. Ho, 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 how late are you? Sorry, we had a fight in the car. The money again, same old story. Well, I've had an idea about that. Not another idea, Bobby. This time it's different. Hear me out. We're gonna stare over people's heads. I met a guy at the gun range. He's connected. Plenty of cash to throw around. This doesn't sound shady at all. All we gotta do is tweak the algorithm off the books. What do you mean? Okay, but why? He thinks it'll maximize his impressions or something. Why do we care? Won't change anything important. Oh. My God. Do, do we work at YouTube? This is the most meta update to a game I've ever seen. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this guy? His name is Delroy. Okay. I'm not sure about this, Bobby. Come on. We both need the money. I keep the system busy. You make a little tweak. What could go wrong? Famous last words. Anyway, enough about that. The presents are down the hall. Grab them before the guests bore me to death. I thought they was gonna say beat me to death. That's my job, Bobby. There's the Christmas spirit. We both know my only Christmas spirit is vodka. Always the pleasure, Bobby. So inspirational. Can't believe we, it sounds like we work at YouTube, right? Impressions is not necessarily a YouTube thing, but you know, tweaking the algorithm, making it so that this guy has more impressions could be construed that way. It's really freaking funny. I don't know if that's what the developer is going for, but I love it. You know what? This is exactly the kind of person I would expect to be working at YouTube. Morning, Joe. Morning. Another day, another dollar. Yeah, I guess so. Just keep picking your nose and hanging out, ignoring everybody. It makes a whole lot of sense. Back in the office. <laughs> all right. Not going to be suspicious at all. Just going to keep on walking. Oh, uh, hello there, Karen. How are you? Got a lot of work to do here, Joe. Okay, you just keep being a Karen, Karen. I'll be over here in the server room. Just some typical everyday normal server maintenance happening here, guys. Nothing suspicious. Everybody, don't worry. Fred, your wife is looking as firmery as always. You keep it up, bud. You're doing great work. Got a lot of work to do here, Joe. I'm sure you do. You just keep planting those carrots. That's the worst analogy I've ever heard. <laughs> okay, Bobby, how's it going? About time. I'm sorry. I had to be indiscreet. You get lost? Yes, I got lost in the elevator, Bobby, you idiot. I'm really not sure about this, Bob. We've been through this. It's an easy job. We need the money, especially you. Just rub it in. Pink tie is awful, by the way, Bobby. We don't even know this Delroy guy. He's loaded, that's all we need to know. It's just one time, after this, we're done. Just be careful, all right? 
Don't be so dramatic. It's all gonna work out. Is that YouTube next to you? I expected it to be dumber looking. I'll make sure the breach doesn't raise any alarms. All right. Did the one sentence that I not read indicate what I was supposed to do? I was too busy looking at all the flashing lights. You see, every time it turns yellow, that's a demonetization. Every time it turns green, that's a monetization. Every time it turns red, you're waiting a week for a review. As you can see, a lot more yellow, a lot of red. And that is probably this guy's analytics. Oh yeah, that looks like a global recession right there. Mm, what does that say? Super fun office suite. I bet it is. Can I? No, I can't punch you in the head. Well, screw me, okay? I'm just gonna hack the terminal. Hacking away security breach. Uh, is this bad? All right, that's it. Okay, I'll talk to Delroy. I'll be in touch about your cut. I hope this works out, Bobby. It will, trust me. Don't feel good about this. Don't feel good about this at all, especially considering we know where this is going. Oh, so this is where things first picked up. I've seen some irresponsible stuff in my time. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Oh, oh, oh Sydney, Sid, 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 Sydney, Sid. Was it Sin, Cindy or Sydney that I was calling a, a sausage in a tube sock at my wedding? Um, you think she's still holding in against me? <laughs> Come on, spare me the excuses. Oh, there, there must be some, I, I, I have a family. My hands are tied, there's nothing I can do. You don't even have hands, you lying hussy. They want you gone, right now. There's a box on your desk. Oh no, we'll pay you for today, please. Just gather your things. I've worked here for 10 years. Don't cause a scene, you'll only make it worse. <laughs> this is Susan's fault, isn't it? I'm sorry, Joe. Oh, I can't believe this. Why are you wearing a suit that's the same color as your skin? It's weird. I am so pissed right now. I hate Bobby. Just gonna collect up all my things. The five things. I'm taking the lamp. Yeah, try and stop me. I friggin' dare you. I will deck you with this. You guys got a problem? Sorry to see you go. Oh. Wasn't that just sweet? How about you? You got anything to say? We'll meet up for a drink one day, yeah? Yeah. We'll have some Shirley Temples and beers. I have no doubt. Oh, not you. Laters, Joe. We can't all be winners. That's a stupid hat to go with your stupid face. Bitter and unemployed. It's quite the combo. Can I just hit him with the box? Just, just one time, just right across the lips. Oh, hey, Bobby, how about my cut? Joe, I, I don't know what to say. Why did I ever listen to you? I, I know, I, I know, I screwed up. Yeah, you think? I'm sorry. But hey, we've been in scrapes before. Who's we? I got fired. You're still working here. We always figured out. Not this time, Bobby. Let's meet up at the shooting range tonight. You gonna give me my cut? We'll straighten this whole thing out. Where's my money, Bobby? Why not? It's not like I have work tomorrow. Oh, okay then. This could be going better. Thing is, you never know what's gonna be different. They may very well have changed something between what we've seen and what we're gonna get here in the final prologue, so I'm gonna take everything mm. with a grain of salt. Hey, you Joe? What am I, where, where, where's Bobby? I'm Bruce. That's not what I asked. Bobby's on call, he'll be right back. Okay, I guess I'll just wait here then. He said you'd be coming. You're his old hunting buddy, right? No, we worked at YouTube together. Wanna take a few shots while you wait? That was a long time ago. <laughs> Could be just like old times. I, I, I guess a few shots couldn't hurt. There's a gun in the gallery, help yourself. All right, thank you, skeezy smoking indoor man Bruce. Oh, it's level 50 Bruce. Don't want to screw with level 50 Bruce. I'm just gonna grab the shotgun. Oh, that's different. Let me guess. <laughs> Bulletproof glass. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, that's a big letdown. I guess we're just gonna put one over here. <laughs> no. 
Not down for that? All right then, I guess we're just gonna put it center mass. Well, looks like Bobby was right about you. Not too shabby, eh? Bob's in the back, leave the gun. Uh, follow me. I'm slightly concerned. Oh, okay, well the gun disappeared from my hand and you've got a mounted turret. That's not a security camera, is it? Honestly, be better if it's a turret considering what just happened. <laughs> Don't want any evidence of this. <sighs> Cannot believe that still. That is what hooked me on this mm. game. You know, that was a great shot. You made me a goddamn kill him! Thing is, your fingerprints are on the gun. You killed him. I, I, no, this, this, this has to be a joke. We were drinking five minutes ago, punch you guys in the parking lot, take a seat. Oh, Joe? Joe, maybe, maybe it's gonna be okay. I mean, Bobby, I'm Joe. You're, you're Bobby. I think I might've been shot in the head a little bit. Yeah, wow, I, I really screwed you there, hey bud. All right then, uh, I'm I'm just gonna take a seat. Mm. What's up? Listen, Joe, Bobby made a good deal with my employers, Mr. Delroy. This isn't happening. <laughs> Seems you and Bobby made a pretty expensive mistake. We, we screwed up? I thought we tweaked the algorithm, didn't it work? You're a psychopath. Look, the reality is, we own you now. Oh, they caught us, right? So they probably tweaked it back. Damn it. And if I don't cooperate? You don't cooperate, the police find your friend over there. The gun, too. Now, it's time for you to leave. We'll be in touch. Oh, this, this can't be happening. Pull yourself together. You're not the one tied to that chair. Not yet, anyway. Oh, I, I so badly want to pick a fight with him, but my arms seem to be frozen and it's level 50 Bruce, so it's, it's probably for the best that we just leave. I still love that twist. It's so good. Day one, Monday. Mm. Hey, Titzilla. What happened to your cleavage? You seem really shaken up last night. Yesterday was just rough at work, you know? Well, let me know if you need me. Oh, I will. Actually, I kind of need you. The doc said my wrist is definitely broken, but the house is a mess. Oh, that's why you don't do anything around here. That's convenient. I'll take care of it. Thanks. I knew there was a reason I married you. <laughs> oh, Tetzilla is actually very sweet. The free labor? <laughs> yep. Oh, that sounds about right. I am currently wearing my heart pajamas. The cleanliness icon is at the top left of your screen. If your house gets too dirty, it's game over. Time to stop at home, but every chore you do will advance. Okay, 15 minutes, so I, I can stay here as long as I want staring at my stupid clothes. <laughs> I don't really want to get changed. I think this is how I'm gonna go about my day. How are the kids do? Sorry kids, daddy's still taking out his anger on everything. No, anything? This is, yeah, bathroom, okay. Huh, okay, oh, there's the chore board. So I can do dishes or I can garden. All right, oh, hey, it's little, what did I name you? I think it was Taco because you sprayed diarrhea all over the walls. <gasps> I, I don't think that her arm was broken in originally, right? Because now there's a reason for her not to be doing the work. <gasps> I always mm. made fun of that. Oh, uh, hey bucko, hey, I have a teeny question for you. Okay, well maybe I have a teeny answer for you. Um, why don't you go to your work anymore? Sometimes it just doesn't work out with work. Oh, okay. Okay, you just go about uh, petting Taco. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some work. Yeah, I'll, I'll do do some chores. Let's see here. We got uh, dishes. So dishes should be in here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. This is where we keep the dishes. And this is how we clean them. Uh, oh, we got more dishes. I, I know what I'm doing, don't worry. World's number one dad right here. Totally haven't murdered two people in the last few minutes. And my wife is happy. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Tidzilla? I apparently leveled up. I'm a level two husband now. Tidzilla, hello. Oh, no, I don't I don't care about abilities. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get more hearts, more health. Sure, that, that works for me. Can I please talk to you now? Thanks for cleaning up, honey. Very welcome. This darn hand makes everything difficult. At least we have some food today. Thank God, after what happened at the office. I know, things are tight. 
You should go into town. Maybe look for Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll find him. <laughs> I guess I should. We'll get through this. Oh, money problems have only gotten worse. I don't really want to do any gardening. I'd much rather go outside and look for Bobby, I guess. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for the prologue of Family Man, guys. And it's like I said, the game is just shockingly fun. You wouldn't think that it is, because at first glance, it's really easy to get the impression that it's probably like an asset flip or cheaply made or childish, because there are a lot of games on Steam that look like this game, but they're not this game. That's the thing, none of it applies, and this is just so much fun. So if you guys wanna see this become a series, if you wanna see me return, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and maybe we'll find Bobby. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.